Okay, so today I'm just gonna do some work around the house. Um, starting with the wall behind me over my shoulder, there was um, a floating shelf there that was just like gonna fall out of the wall. I don't think the anchors were the proper anchors for what I needed. So I'm gonna go to the hardware store and get some more stuff and hopefully I can install it where we can put bottles on it and it doesn't like worry us where it's gonna fall out of the wall. It's honestly a pain in the ass because the wall's ruined now. So if this doesn't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, so that's like the task for today. I'm also gonna do a little bit of an update with like the furniture we have. It's been a month and the closet's still unorganized. We still need furniture, but we're gonna try and rearrange some things and make it look pretty. But the task for the day is that floating shelf behind me um, and to get that bar cart put together properly. So. Let's just take care of that and go from there. <laughs> so this is where the shelf was previously. And as you can see, like these anchors just didn't work. They are self drilling and they just drilled themselves into the wall and like it just crumbled. So I'm gonna try some different methods and hopefully get this sorted because it's just a pain in my ass. We've got a bunch of stuff here that's going to go on the shelf. Uh, as you can see, it kind of needs a shelf. And this would look nice all put together. So hopefully I can get it working. Oh, and here's the outfit for today. to put in like the old hole because they're bigger. So I could probably use the same holes that I already made, hopefully. And then just some like supplementary like anchors. I'm gonna put a total of uh, five in each shelf and I just hope that works. Remember that movie you went to see Bullet Train? I love that movie. It's on Netflix. I wanna watch it. Do you wanna watch it today? Mm -hmm. Same thing here. so much stronger than it was before, I'm actually fucking stoked. So now I'm gonna, like this isn't going anywhere and now I'm gonna put the shelf on, but the problem is the screw heads aren't flat and the shelf, there's like a space between the wall and the shelf because the screw heads just like keep it away from the wall. So I'm just drilling little, um, fuck what's it called? So I'm just drilling little holes in the back of the shelf where the screw head can sort of sit into to get it tighter. More snug if you will.
so as you can tell, it's up, it's done, and it's dark. That took way longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, I'm just worried that it's going to fall out of the wall, to be honest with you, but I guess only time will tell, and we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, my battery's going to die, so I can't really show you anything else today. Um, but we did bring this out of the closet, and we might utilize this as just sort of like a table for our, our records. Uh, sorry, for our record player and stuff. This is uh, my old guitar cab. I love it. I'm going to take it off the wheels and probably just use it uh, again for like the record player and stuff. I'll update you again next time. Okay, love you. Bye. Okay, so it's the next day, obviously, as you can tell, and the shelf is up. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. Um, the top one is really crooked. It leans forward. Here, I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate what I mean. Like this bottle fits at the back and then when I pull it to the front, it gets wedged in and the shelf like is just sagging. And I realized it's because the bracket um, is bent. So I should have flipped the bracket the other way so it would bend up and then that way when you sit things on it, it sits flat. I actually had to do that for the bottom one and I kind of just assumed the top one was the same, but it was the reverse. So now, I think I might just have to live with it because there's so many holes in the wall, I don't think I can fix it. But whatever, I love it. And at nighttime when the tea lights are on, it looks really nice. I was kind of just inspired by like going to the bars and seeing how they have all the bottles and they put the tea lights um, in front of the bottles and they all just reflect really nice. I think it's beautiful and I was really excited to have that. So I'm kind of happy that we finally have it. it. Ties in the whole bar cart too. And we were thinking about getting rid of the bar cart because it's just so big and bulky, but um, this sort of brings it together, so we might hang on to it for a bit. I want to show you this bar cart though. So what's special about this bar cart is it has a fridge in it. And this is what sold us on it. It's this old like Acme fridge. And I want to use it basically just to like chill glassware. And I love just like sort of the retro look it has. I think it's beautiful. It has these drawers as well. So this drawer there. And then this side is another sort of storage compartment where obviously it's a disaster as you can see and then over here this beautiful mirrored section does close I am suspicious that this was like a record player thing at one time but I'm not too sure and I'm just happy to be done with that project uh, next is gonna be the living room so I'm gonna show you that right now here's what it looks like at the moment So we definitely have a plan of like what we want to do in here. Um, we literally put that this, literally put this blanket on the floor to sort of like give us an idea of what size rug we need. We just thought that this blanket was roughly the size of the rug we wanted, and it is. So um, the blanket's just on the floor to give us like a reference for what we should make and then or what we should buy. And then that coffee table is just my old guitar cab. Like I just flipped it over and put it in the middle just to see like roughly what size coffee table we would want. Um, we think it's a little too tall, maybe like an inch or two shorter and a little bit wider would be great. Bronx, you're in the way. You're in the way. Okay, what do you think? But yeah, we played with so many different layouts. We've had the couch like facing the window. We've had the couch on the other wall. We've had the couch facing the wall. We've had it on an angle, yada, yada. So I think we finally landed on a layout that looks like it can work long term. It's definitely a shame to have the couch against the wall because the couch is so beautiful and the back of it is really nice. But I think it just works. We'd love to see the couch from all angles, but that's kind of where it has to go. And then over here, obviously, is a disaster. We're gonna put some sort of like long console table over there. We don't exactly know what yet, but we know we want something long, something low, because we wanna be able to throw a projector up onto the wall. Not really down on having a TV in the living room. We have one in the bedroom, which is right there in front of the bed. And then there's one on the wall in the office, which is still under works. So no TV in here. I just want it to be cozy in here. I wanna have like literally candles and books and a couple blankets and that's it and a projector and then you know that way we can just kind of like relax when we're in this room um, but yeah so that's it the shelves are up the apartment is like coming along um, but I know this was just like a random one-off video so thank you if you made it this far I start training with a personal trainer today 
So I'm gonna be documenting some of my like fitness journey and I'm gonna be just like incorporating into these videos, probably more of like a vlog style, maybe weekly. So you'll see some of that, look out on TikTok uh, and I'll do more fashion content on here soon. I just, the truth is I haven't left my house like since I've moved in like a month. All I've done is, is kind of work and stay home and I haven't felt inspired by any of my clothes. I feel like out of shape, like nothing fits and I think I just need some new clothes and a little bit of like a spark of inspiration so I can get back like to creating outfits for you guys. It's hard, it's like you gotta stay consistent with like your laundry and like folding and ironing and like your health if you want your clothes to continue to look good and to stay inspired by your wardrobe. I think fashion goes way further than just clothes um, and I'm learning that now, hence my like hiatus. But yeah, anyway, so that's it. Um, we're all done here, thank you for watching. Wish me luck. Hopefully the shells don't fall out of the wall. And I love you. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.